Hello everybody, me and Sad are welcoming you to episode 54 of Drove. This episode we're gonna take a look at the new Revenant class, which Sad is showcasing right here. I believe he's level 20 and he fully maxed it. Alright, but before we do that, I'll give you a quick heads up that uh, new dungeons and new receipts have been introduced into the game. For example, you can see here a bunch of uh, how do you, medieval highlands receipts bunch of desert frontier i believe permafrost doesn't have any curse valley has a couple actually more than a couple fire wilds has quite a few right and so on and so on i kind of oh my god neon biome has uh, quite a lot always lags when i'm opening this oh my god look at this bunch of mastery to be had here yeah so take advantage of this up your beloved mastery rank I don't like the new dungeon types, they uh, require you to kill like 20 mobs and that takes a long time, doesn't it? I mean it's not that fast as the old ones. Anyway, we are gonna take a look at the Revenant class right now. Alright, so I've actually unlocked it earlier with, uh, with my uh, class coin, haven't advanced it a uh, single bit. Let me full screen this. Alright, so uh, let's read the description. The Revenant is an elf-bound spirit that protects the Sun Goddess's domain. God damn it, tongue twisters. Who's this Sun Goddess? Is it like a deity I should know? I should know about? Anyway, never heard of her <laughs> before. Oh my god! And the award for the longest description goes to the Revenant. A spirit wraith uh, watches over you, saving you from death and joining the fight if it is able. So lure foes to you with bulwark. Bulwark. Bulwark? Sounds funny. Sounds silly and funny. Bulwark. Bulwark bash and destroy them with spirit spears and spirit storm. So many S's. Okay, so let's check the first skill description. Oh, actually this is my passive, isn't it? Vengeful spirits. Basic attacks return a small amount of health. Sounds good. And the spirit wrath which uh, actually will spawn to protect you from death. Empowering you until it can do so again. Looks like a Spartan, uh, I've actually seen it in action and it totally looks like a Spartan. And the first mouse is the left mouse button. Isn't No, it's the right mouse button. Oh, oh. I love the shield bash. Bulwark. Is my, is my shield named Bulwark or what? Damages and briefly taunts all enemies in a cone in front of the Revenant. Right, so it attracts enemies towards me, doesn't it? I think it does. That's pretty awesome. Uh, anyway, let's quickly go and pick the Raptor Berserker, because I believe I'm a physical damage plus. I can't, can't change... Oh my god, I, I, gotta, I gotta go to the Baron of Blades, which is the best blade in the whole game. Few, few weapons. See, even the description says a few weapons are so famous as to completely subsume their wielder's identities. This is one such weapon. Oh my god, it's a beast of a weapon. It's the best looking weapon in game. Uh, let's quickly... Also, yeah, quickly... quickly short side? This is physical, so yeah, let's go with a short strike on that slot. Emblems. Bandolier, please, or however you pronounce that, as a mount. Hmm. I think I'll uh, quite quickly get past this wooden stiff look. Won't I? So what mount should I pick? Any suggestions? Please, because I I, uh, I believe you'll best shoot me a, a bulky mount, a big fat mount. Oh yeah. How, how many costumes? Oh my god, has quite a few costumes. Alright, so let's pick the badge thingy. Badge, 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 where's the badge? Here it is. Infinium Charger. <laughs> nice, oh my god, it, it looks awesome. It looks smaller on the mount for some reason. Because it's like, yeah. Anyway, uh, the Mag Rider. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with it. No, no, the uh, Bull Shadowzer. Shadowzer, interesting name. Uh, the, oh, by the way guys, I've got this uh, chaotic cruiser on a chaos chest, which is awesome, that's, that's because you you are now getting double chaos chests this week, <clears throat> and actually in, uh, between November 10th and November 17th. Anyway, whoa, what was this? Dream Gobblers, invasions drop unique loot. 
Okay, that's in that's an upcoming event. Pretty cool, I believe. Top loot this week: squeakers. It's the weird flying squeaking thing. Anyway, uh, let's quickly <laughs> quickly <clears throat> change the wings to the dark infinite ones. Right, anything else? Maybe the sail to a more suitable one. The fishing pole I don't care about and the cybernetics catalog <clears throat> is gotta remain the same. Okay, okay, enough rambling. Let's go and check it out. See how the skills act. Where is the first portal? It's kind of far away from the hub, from the spawn. Uh, adventure portal, press C. Yeah, that's the perfect portal for me, as I am a little revenant. Alright, nearest dungeon. Is this a dungeon? No, it's not. Nearest dungeon that way. Actually, can we use this? Yes, we. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's such a bad idea. Every single dungeon in this area has been completed. <sighs> Seriously. I think this is. Uh, not, this hasn't been completed. Uh, I can clearly see the axe on this one, so. Yeah, it's not. Not. Not that good <laughs> to go into a completed dungeon. Anyway, we'll head towards... Is this close? I think it is. Usually the ma map makes... Um, objects seem uh, further away, doesn't it? Or actually closer, I meant closer, closer. Anyway, we're here and uh, let's check the first ability, which is the shield bash thingy. Straight to the boss. Is this the boss? I'm bigger than the boss. Come on, <laughs> if I if I would have a head, I would have been bigger than the boss. The attacks are quite slow though. How much HP I got? Oh my god. Why would I even care about HP at this stage of the game? Anyway, next dungeon. That way. Have I leveled? I did indeed. Let's I did indeed. That's an interesting the uh, interesting choice of words. Isn't it? Alright. Let's get in here and see what we can do. Actually, we'll keep using the shield bash. Because we haven't unlocked any new skill yet. Yeah, kill this golden bug. Oh my god, level 3. <clears throat> and a new skill is available to us. Spirit Spears. Damages enemies in a cone in front of the Revenant. Costs health to use. And deals damage based on maximum health. Okay, so I don't have that much of a health to spare with a skill, but sure. Let's check it out here. I gotta... Uh, in front of the Revenants, yeah, so <clears throat> I gotta focus on and stay uh, towards my enemy. Okay, we'll test it right now on the boss. As soon as I find it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, oh, oh so it has al almost no uh, cooldown. Actually, it has no cooldown, it's based on my energy capacity, that's pretty cool. So that's a damage dealer, right? I think it, ha it does something else too, no, not the ultimate. Um, damages enemies, right? Costs, health to use and deal damage back, best based, <laughs> based on maximum health. Right, okay. So if I would, for example, if I have 150k health, does it deal 150k hits each time I... I should test it, right? So I have got 400... No, just kill it. No, it, it's like half of my uh, current health. Well, uh, more than half. Oh, because I was on short strike. Check out the base damage. It's shit. Why only 105? Because... Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, so I believe it's half of my current, um, almost half of my current uh, health, which kind of sucks based on my uh, current health. Anyway, whatever, we're pretty close to the ultimate ability. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty useless for me to form an opinion at this level, about uh, even about uh, this skill right here, so I should not be disappointed yet. Maybe it has something good to offer <clears throat> later on as I get better gear. I don't know where's the dungeon. I mean, probably it's underground, right? Because I got no clue. Can't see the dungeon. Oh, up here. Okay, so uh, let's try using the skill, the spear thing, skill once again. Does the shield stun? I don't think so. Briefly taunts. Taunts. Oh, okay, so I don't need any taunting as I'm the only guy here. 
Man, the shield clearly does a bunch of damage. And I can clearly see this class being really useful in Shadow Arenas. Especially with the ultimate ability, which I kinda know because I've seen Sad using it. It heals a lot. Heals enemies, uh, not enemies, you won't. You wouldn't be that good if you're healing enemies. Heals your allies really quickly and uh, for hefty amounts of health. Right, so we're getting closer to the final ability. Let's open this. I got I got better gear, oh my god. No, that was worse than I had. Maximum health, yeah, put that. And yeah, place that because it seems to be better. Oh my god, my attack speed it's horrible. I got a head sort of. Okay, so, uh, I got an idea. Hmm. Is this a hat? I think it is shadow. No shadow, not shadow. Oh, maybe shadow. Oh my god, I think you look like epic. I think it was on the face though. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, god damn it. Actually, it doesn't look that well. I thought it would have, would, would have looked epic. But no. Uh, let's get back to the hat and uh, go to the... No, mastery. I mean mastery. Where is mastery? And pick this. Oh my god. Oh my god, you can even see its insides. That's pretty cool. Anyway, moving on. Let's clear this dungeon also. With my shield. It's bomb. Oh my god, my shield has a long cooldown. I thought I, I, thought I got a, a shadow item for some, for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> what are the chances of me getting a shadow item in this level? In this, in this portal, 1 to 3? Quite low, as I only have... 300 magic find on this character. Alright. Is this a dungeon? I hope it's not a big one and it isn't. And by big one I mean 3 star dungeons. Because usually the 3 star dungeons in uh, Undead biome thingy. Oh my god, level 5! Yeah, usually they are like complicated and maze like. So you'll waste lots of time. You'll waste time doing them. Alright, so let's check the ultimate ability. Spirit Storm. A cyclone pulls foes towards the Revenant and randomly fires exploding spirit balls, which heal players and damages uh, <laughs> damage enemies. Sorry. All right. Cast health. Health. <laughs> Cast health to use and deals damage based on maximum health as as the spirit one, I believe. I would like I would like for them to specify a percentage, like how much percentage percentage based on my uh, current health. Does it deal damage from? I mean, you know what I mean, right? All right, so this is four to five, and I can't enter it. I'll be trying to showcase the ultimate ability. Does it also heal the cyclone, right? Which? Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm pulling my uh, enemies uh, towards me. Okay, so I uh, don't know if it heals me. I know it heals my allies, but does it heal me? That's my question. Do I, do I have a better item? A better spear? No, I don't. Anyway, we'll continue we'll continue like this. And we're pretty close to a dungeon. Just jump, jump, jump. Perfect. Let's get inside and see how the ultimate acts. Oh, there's a shortcut, sort of. If you didn't know about that, you can just jump into the water and get in, in here to the boss room. Right, so ultimate time. Oh my god, I just love the... Oh, my movement speed is quite... Uh, has quite drastically been uh, decreased. Wow, and it lasts... Oh my god, it lasts a while. That's really awesome, actually. And it looks pretty awesome too. Doesn't it? Oh, and the cooldown is not that drastic. Isn't that great of a cooldown? I mean, you uh, in the sense that you can uh, spam it, sort of. I mean, from dungeon to dungeon, that uh, surely is possible. Oh, uh, and now use it again, yeah, exactly. So does it heal me? I haven't paid attention if it kills me or not. I'll try it once more, let them hit me and uh, see if it heal heals me, so we'll resume filming once I get a dungeon. Oh by the way, I've just noticed uh, the way it uh, dodges, 
jumps on his shield and slides. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Pretty cool animation. Okay, so is it? Yeah, it's a, it's a nice dungeon. <laughs> All right, so uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Come on. Oh, right. So yeah, it was pretty obvious. My answer was pretty obvious. It's still in the uh, skills description. It can't kill me because it uses health, right? In order to deal damage and stuff. <gasps> I've completed my star bar. Whoa. Oh, can I unlock a... Uh... Though I wouldn't need like six of them unlocked, but I was just wondering. No, I cannot unlock one of the market slots. But anyway, I'll uh, come back once this guy is level... I know, maybe... Mm, not 10, but 20. Yeah, I think I'll resume uh, once I'm uh, a level ten, uh, 20 with him. And uh, I'll give my opinion. But anyway, as I'm clearing my inventory, I gotta tell you, this is, it has potential in it. It is, I mean, I like it and it might be one of my new favorite classes along the Lunar Lancer and the Boomeranger. We, uh, Lunar Lancer being my uh, absolute favorite, the Boomeranger the second best and this might be, might, might occupy the same position as the Boomeranger, Boomeranger, sorry, or uh, yeah, we'll have to see about that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, I will see you on the next episode.